I'd like to show you how you can sample a color from anywhere outside of Photoshop using Photoshop. So here's the scenario. I have a web browser just here. I've been surfing the net. I found an image I like. And of course I could download this and reopen it inside of Photoshop and sample colors from there. But I'd just like to, from within Photoshop, grab a color or two just quickly. So here inside of Photoshop, let's go and grab our eyedropper tool. Keyboard shortcut is I. So of course I can click inside of here and you can see this foreground color changing just here. So I click on the white area, sure enough it goes white, click on gray and it changes. But here's the problem, if I move the mouse outside of Photoshop, I just get an arrow pointer so I can't sample a color. If I click just now, all I do is switch to this other window. So here's the trick. Within Photoshop, so it can be from within the canvas area or the image itself, if you click and hold, that's all you have to do. Now keep the mouse held down, you can now go and sample whatever color you like. And of course you can see the foreground color changing just there. So if I go and choose a dark blue, sure enough there it is just there. Now that's cool, but I'd like to show you an even better way to do this on a live design. So here inside of my design in Photoshop, I have a background layer. It's actually a solid color. So if I double click on this, you'll see it opens up the color picker just here. So you'll notice also that if I move my mouse outside of the color picker, this is interesting, I've now got the eyedropper tool again. So let's see if the trick I just showed you actually works. So let's click and hold and move outside of Photoshop and check this out. Any color that I sample now, it's giving me a live preview. And let's say I like this color blue, as soon as I release my mouse, it's actually permanently chosen that color. So if I choose okay, fantastic, I've updated my design. So that's it. Uh, just to prove to you, there's, also, there's also nothing special about a image inside of a web browser. I've actually already downloaded this image. And if I open it up just here, so this is an actual image saved on my desktop. So back inside of Photoshop, I can double click that background layer, which is a solid. Open that up. Within the image, click and hold. Move out to that image and sample any color I like. Choose OK. And there you go. So that's the trick there, guys. With the eyedropper tool, just click and hold. Move outside of Photoshop. Sample any color you like. Hope it helps. Catch you later.